From what Luther is really good at... Um, surviving. <laughs> ...to the karaoke sing-along in cars. <laughs> Here are the best bloopers and funny moments from the Umbrella Academy. Part of the charm of this quirky show is that it isn't just a story about superhero shenanigans. It's actually about family. What's real is family. OK, Toretto, you can go away now. This video isn't about you. Of course, since the Umbrella Academy is all about the family, you should expect the relatives to be a little more comfortable and relaxed around each other. That's so... <laughs> touching. All that stuff about family and dad and time. Take Luther as an example. He might look like a hulking mountain of muscle, but he's just a regular human being at the end of the day. And he does exactly what most of us would do when we're in an elevator with other people. Oh my god, Luther, that smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Klaus would be the one to make everyone burst into laughter with his quip, because that's such a him thing to do. <laughs> and speaking of Klaus, actor Robert Sheehan is absolutely as chaotic as the character he plays on screen stipulated in my contract that uh, I have to show my nipples. He even has his own signature move that he loves to show off whenever asked. A prodigy. Ad infinitum. It doesn't stop there, though, as he treats every interview as the perfect opportunity to channel his inner Klaus. In fact, his poor castmates struggle to identify where Rob actually ends and Klaus begins. Just take a look at this snippet. As a child, Robert was beaten with which one of these implements? That is not the question. That's not the question, Robert. Turns out this isn't the only funny moment that Rob and co-star Tom Hopper share behind the scenes, however. Whenever these two are paired together for a segment, it's guaranteed to be a laugh and a good time for anyone watching them. Two, one. <laughs> ah, they look like the best kind of trouble, really. Take it off. Take it off, you cruel torturer. <laughs> one member of the Hargreaves family who always looks super serious is number five. Despite his incredible powers and street smarts, he's just an old soul stuck in a young boy's body. Well, we need to commend Aidan Gallagher for pulling off this role so convincingly since he's nothing like his character when the director yells cut. In fact, sometimes he can't even contain the laughter when a fellow actor does something silly that gets him in stitches. Yeah. That said, he does have quite a wicked and dry sense of humor, because when someone asks him who ruins the takes the most, his answer was rather frank. Aiden. His co-stars disagree, however, as each of them believe they're the biggest culprits. I certainly do it a lot, so it could be me. <laughs> me, Tom, and Elliot, 100%. If the three of us are in a scene, that's a wrap. We never get it done. Hmm, who's telling the truth here? Sometimes, though, the best moments on a show are completely by accident and unplanned, such as this priceless and unforgettable scene involving Luther. I like when you touch the thing by accident. Oh, it's so good. Trust the castmates to dish the dirt on each other, but at times they even reveal some cool secrets that fans had no clue about. Like when Rob revealed a previously unknown detail about his on-screen brother. I must say, Mr. Castaneda's got some serious moves. And during season one, I think he was doing, like, hip-hop dance classes. Talk about some wicked dance moves there. Though, judging by the incredible soundtrack, can you blame the actors for wanting to let the beat take over? We're so hip-hop, we're so hip-hop that even at, uh, even at the promotion of the Umbrella Academy, we got a job in catering. Got a million dollar ring. And speaking of dance moves, it looks like David Castaneda is everyone's personal dance instructor on set. While we've already found out about him surprising Rob with his rhythmic maneuvers, he's actually taken on a mentorship type of role to the other actors around him. In fact, they look to him for advice on how to improve their own special dance moves for the show. Just look at him helping them out here. Shift your hip to this to the right, and then you're gonna pop it again. Honestly, we need to double check and make sure that the showrunners give him a special credit and thank you for the outstanding choreography in the next season. The Hargreaves children are closer to some of their siblings than others. This is especially evident in the relationship between Ben and Klaus. Oh! Uh, 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 that was exhilarating. There's a strong and special bond between the two brothers, and they have some powerful moments on set. As it so happens, Rob and actor Justin H. Min have a similar brotherly and playful relationship when the cameras aren't rolling. Watch any of their interviews and you instantly pick up on the friendly banter between them. In a chat with the AV Club, Justin was asked if he would join Rob's cult, much like what happened with Klaus in Season 2 of The Umbrella Academy. This was his response to the question. Justin, would you join Robert's cult? Uh, absolutely. 
No. <laughs> well, you wouldn't necessarily get an invitation, you hear uh, me? You know what's so funny about Justin's reply here? It totally feels like something Ben would say to his brother on the show. In fact, it feels so uncanny. One of the most underrated characters on the show is undoubtedly Hazel, as played by Cameron Britton. The time-traveling agent was pure comedy gold whenever he appeared on screen with his fellow assassin and cohort, Cha-Cha. Well, Cameron is equally as funny as his on-screen persona behind the cameras, as he demonstrates how he applies a little of himself and his own sense of humor into his character. In a Q&A about what sort of private notes he keeps stored on his phone, this is what he said. I have an idea for a sketch, it just says a werewolves. Yep, this isn't the sort of wolf that you'd find in Twilight. But it didn't stop here, as Cameron couldn't help but dive a little deeper into his thinking here. Yeah, they just become more cognizant of their general... <laughs> more, politi more politically correct. <laughs> no, the full moon! Uh, I understand too much! Look, we're not saying this is the perfect Netflix show, but we're saying it is the perfect Netflix show. Make it happen. And cast Cameron while you're at it. In case you didn't know, the Umbrella Academy originally came from the imaginative mind of Gerard Way, who's also the lead singer of emo rock band My Chemical Romance. Gerard turned it into a comic book series with artist Gabriel Barr. So it's no surprise that fans of the show also happen to be fans of the band. In a fun-filled interview with MTV, the cast of the Umbrella Academy were given lines and had to identify if they were from the show or lyrics from My Chemical Romance's songs. Well, it turns out that there's one castmate who muddled things up a bit. That MRC, I would say, I'm, I, unless it was Aiden? MCR, you mean? Sorry, MRC. <laughs> what did MRC I is a studio <laughs> in LA. Ah, uh, David, you really aren't going to make Gerard very happy with these types of mistakes. He might be inclined to write Diego out of the series as punishment, you know. What's definitely clear about the Umbrella Academy is the natural and undeniable chemistry between the cast members. They're phenomenal on the show and perfect in their roles, but you can also see that they really like each other and have great relationships in real life. Unlike a lot of other actors in Hollyweird, they aren't rushing off to their trailers to be alone. Instead, they're hanging out and having fun together as friends between the scenes. Just check out the fun they had while filming a car scene, for example. They honestly look like BFFs here, and we're kind of jealous because we want to join this car karaoke party as well. All this talk about superheroes is making us excited for a certain Dark Knight who's about to get a brand new movie. Be sure to check out our video on The Batman and why it's a radical departure from all the other films that came before it. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and stay awesome!